get you a quick check on the weather conditions in the country. Heatwave conditions continue to sweep across many parts. When we take into account the northern and central part of the country, it's been the hottest April. As far as May is concerned, the Met Office is saying that the temperatures will continue to be above normal. In the last 24 hours itself, we've seen Gurgaon touching a 46.5 degrees Celsius. That's 7 degrees more than it should be at this point in time. Uh, of course, that is setting a new record as far as Gurgaon is concerned. When we take into account... Uh, the month of March, it broke all records. It was the hottest ever. April was the fourth hottest for the country, the hottest for the northern part of the country. And with May uh, being also, as far as heatwave conditions and temperatures are concerned, on uh, the side of uh, being hotter than normal, uh, what we can expect is a temporary respite from the first, uh, that is from today, some sort of respite in terms of the intensity of the heatwave conditions that are prevailing. From tomorrow, light showers and dust storm activity is expected in many parts of north as well as central parts of the country. Now, why is this going to happen? This is going to happen because the wind is changing direction. The winds are coming in now from the easterly sides. Those are cooler winds, not the dry winds that have been prevailing from the northern part coming in through Pakistan. Those winds will change direction and we will have now easterly moist winds coming in. And if you can see on the eastern side, it has been raining. So because of which the temperature is going to change, we can expect the temperature to go down. But it's not going to reduce. It's not going to be less than 40 degrees in the course of the week. Will the temperature touch 50 degrees? That's the big question. Let's find out from the Met Office. If you go by climate logic, if you go by climate logic, climate logic says that temperature can cross 50 degrees Celsius. And there has been record earlier of 52.6 degrees Celsius in Rajasthan. Therefore, it is very easy because month of May is the hottest month. Therefore, you can expect. But I cannot say such type of forecast. Climatologically, I would say it is possible. The data is available up to 28th of April now. Yeah. From the data available on 28th April, it is the fourth highest country. Average temperature is the fourth highest. Right. And if I consider the homogeneous regions like Northwest India, Central and India, India, Northeast India, and Peninsular India, Northwest India and Central India are the highest in 120 years. So the northern part of the country, hottest in 122 years. We have my colleague Sukirti uh, joining us. Sukirti, get us a sense of how hot it is uh, this Sunday morning. Uh, well, yes, uh, the temperatures today, at least in Delhi, are expected to reach about 43 degrees Celsius. Tomorrow, from tomorrow, however, there is expected to be some relief uh, with the dust storms being predicted. And from Tuesday onwards, uh, there might be some uh, likelihood of rain uh, because Tuesday, on Tuesday, cloudy weather has been predicted by IMD. But as far as North India is concerned, the heat wave intensity is expected to reduce a little from today. And then uh, maybe from Tuesday, rain is expected. Uh, but uh, several parts of India, whether it is Delhi uh, or Gurgaon, which has already been touching a uh, 46 degree temperature and was the second hottest city yesterday, uh, for those regions, there is no relief for now, especially even in the Vidarbha region in Maharashtra, Chandrapur was the hottest place yesterday. Uh, so with temperatures uh, revolving between 46 to 43 degrees, uh, people are still battling the heat wave, uh, especially in places like Delhi and Maharashtra and Gurgaon. Uh, but from Tuesday, some relief could be expected, but uh, surely with these kind of temperatures for people who work out there in the open, especially construction laborers or, or rickshaw pullers, for them, uh, life is very, very difficult at this point of time. Right. Uh, so, Keithi, you are also out and about in the city. So, a uh, word of caution to you as well. Do keep yourself safe, keep yourself hydrated, try and, uh, of course, uh, take all those measures uh, before you step out and while you're outdoors especially. So thank you so much for joining us with all those details. We will keep coming back to you for more, but uh, in the meantime, do try and stay cool.